Hello everyone, Mary and Espresso Press Design. Thank you for stopping by. Have a seat. As I'm doing, first a little show and tell. Today is going to be easy summertime craft. I had a plan and um, something broke so I had to come up with something else on the fly but first a little show and tell what I've been doing um, I took last week's papers scraps and coffee dyed them so this is from our foam prints, this is from our roller, wax paper roller. So I did that, did a bunch of dyeing papers, and this is the only one worthy of mention. It is um, beetroot powder lovely pink and I made an altered book because I decided um, I need a place to keep things I don't have time at the moment to make a journal and I did some more of these because I realized I forgot to turn my lights last time so that really um, that really bleaches out the color in here when they're too too close to the table so I did a few more of those and um, here they are more representative so these both have pastel and then I went over it with the ink roller, homemade wax paper roller. So I did that. And today I was going to begin a tag series. And my tag um, punch broke. It's not punching. I tried the aluminum foil trick about 20 times to no avail. So I cannot recommend the aluminum foil to straighten out a dull punch. So I'm going to go up later today and buy a new punch. Um, another thing I came up with was a book thong. This will probably, this is a very easy summertime. And of course it's made with paper beads. And there you go, it's your, your book thong, if you can see that. Okay. So that was another project. And then today, um, well, let me let me go over something else. The fast frames. Uh, one of the viewers came up with a fabulous idea, and she put a little piece of fabric in there. And I said, "Oh, that's really cool. I'm stealing that." So I did a little fabric, put a little cluster and um, sewed a button on it. So that's going to go in my book. Reminds me of her. The winner, um, okay, thank you Bev. Thank you Bev. I'm going to give you credit where credit is due. The winner, um, 
is indisposed and she will email me as soon as she is able to and she will get her $25 e-gift card. Thanks to everyone who commented. So today, um, since my plan fell apart, these are so quick and easy to make. Um, I thought I would just do these with their own little self-closure there. Coordinating corner and embellishment. But what we're going to use is book pages. So that's what you'll need. You just need I'm thinking these are going to be things, you know, like the um, book thong. I can take that stuff outside and I can just sit there and make paper beads. And I can come up with these in a while I'm sitting outside getting some sun. So this is what, you know, I think I'm going to um, try to come up with as many of, the, as, of these as I can. If you want to learn how to do these book thongs, let me know. But I'm going to call this easy summertime, quick and easy summertime crafts. So you'll need a book page, as I have. And you'll need some scraps. And you'll need some glue. And you'll need some punches or however you want to embellish your little your little um, ephemera holder here. That's what I'm going to call it. And today I'm not even going to bother with the um, guillotine or the cutter or anything. So, hope you're all doing well. It's been busy around here. I don't think I've sat down for days. Um, we still had a frost up until Thursday. So, please tear. We've still had a frost up until Thursday, so we're a little late getting our flowers in and happy late Memorial Day so I'm I'm keeping I'm trying to keep that around three inches and th this book page is I'm pretty sure it's nine yeah it's nine this book is nine but you can make these whatever size you want so because I'm not folding and I'm not I'm not even measuring. I'm measuring by eye here. And I'm just going to get that into thirds as best I can. So we have um, got our flowers in. And this is kind of sad. Um, plant lady. I call her plant lady. The greenhouse we have been going to for over 20 years. She died this year. And her husband. Um, and then you're going to take the last one. And you're going to fold it over. And her husband decided he's calling it a day. So I don't even know where we're going to get our plants and flowers from now on. That's a little, that's a little close. Because the big box stores now I have a 
wonky fold, but whatever. The big box stores, um, their stuff doesn't even grow. So I still have to go back there. I, I, um, they raised their prices a little bit and they just took cash. So I still have to go back there and get a um, some tomatoes and hope they have them. Um, so there you go. That's your basic book. And then I took a corner rounder and I just did my little corners here. I didn't want anything. I could have chose a more decorative one like I did on the other, but and then I just did three corners. Okay, that's the basics of that. Oh, I should have did those together. Oh well. And then we're gonna make our little uh, corner, Hanny Trump corner for our closure, and that's very simple. I get a starting center here. This one's going to be a little smaller because my page edge is a little smaller. It's going to be smaller than than these ones. But that's okay. So you just fold that over. Gonna put your glue here. Yes, I was going to start a new tag series. Came down here and my punch broke. And there's they're on sale this week, so I'm gonna go get a new one. And then you're just going to cut that off and you're going to take your scissors and turn them in a little bit like so. And you're going to cut just a sliver off of this edge like so. And then that's going to be your little closure. But in order to get it to stay, I'm just going to turn this over on the back. See how fast this is going? <laughs> see now you see why I chose that for a little for sale item. And then I, okay, I got some bad news. Well, I don't know if it's, I don't know. Every area is different, so I'm not going to say. But this is how we're going to, um, we're going to decorate this. And I'm just taking my scraps that are all the same color, basically. And I'm going to make my little embellishment. And I have my gradated punches here. And I'll tell you what, this, this was a lifesaver. Now I would like to get gradated scallop punches. So... I think 
I'll put that one on the bottom. One. So you just put this in a little basket. Take it out to your outdoor area where you like to hang out. And you can whip these up in no time for your Happy Meal, whatever. Okay, I'm going to um, see how simple I just did down the sides. You can decorate them however you like. But these scraps are getting so out of hand that um, I'm just... I'm just covering the white area a little bit. I don't mind text as a focal point. Actually, I've kind of miss working with book pages. I love working with book pages. So that's why I I grabbed a bunch of junk paper and I was going to sit down and do a journal and then I just I realized I had a book cleared out a few books recently and I realized I had a book I should have Put that in there before I glued that on. Definitely. But I think I can still slide it in there. <laughs> I should have put that put that strip there before I glued the corner on. Let me just oh I can still do that. Duh. Okay. So what else is now around here? Um What else that's good news? Um, oh, I got a new fire pit for Mother's Day. So I've also been stacking wood. And, um, finally had, well, the one night we did have a fire and you actually needed a fire because that's how cool it was. But now it's just, um, just nice. Well, I'm going to save that, put that somewhere else. It's just nice. So, just doing all the usual, moving out the furniture, so we can eat outside all summer, which is usually what we do. And I'm just going to put another little piece here. Call it a day. Needless to say, I haven't been. I have a kit that needs finished. I haven't been working very much. at work. That's not straight. Took my daughter shopping. She 
finally got her final report card. She did great. She works very hard. Oh, here's hoping she'll get a job this summer. She should have a job already, like most of her friends, but I don't know. I think her dad is going to have to have a talk with her. You know? started working at age 13 and I'm not finished yet and who knows when I will be <clears throat> my grandmother worked until age 90 when they made her quit forget how old my mother-in-law was. She was 80-something and she finally quit. Called it a day. Okay, now this one Where'd they go? Now I had to make that a little stiffer because when these get puffier, um, that is going to help keep it closed. So I'm going to leave that up to you of how 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 much you want to stuff these but um, keep that in mind you're, you're not you're going to want that stiffer if you want to use it as a closure but I'm just using it as a embellishment so I really don't care just as long as it flaps over the corner there I'm not going to glue the wrong part. Okay. There's your book. And you can turn this into a little book too. With its own closure. Easily. Just need a little dot. And my, oh, I think today, if I get time, I'm, I'm going on another purge. I don't know if these scraps will. I don't know how much I can get these scraps down any further at the moment. Oh, jeez. You flipped on me. And I don't know, I'm kind of into circles lately. I don't know why. Usually I don't. Usually I don't. Um, I prefer squares. Just get the hell in there. Okay. And then you just take your little 
cards. Whatever you want to put in there. T. Jeez, that needs glued. T. You can fit a T. Pretty sure you can fit a Ghirardelli in there. This is actually another pocket, but I'm not using it as that because it's the closure. But you can stuff this with anything. Okay. Was that quick or what? And now you know why I chose them. Okay, let me go over my... Um, news and I'll just start another one here so this is this was how I um I'm gonna try to keep that at round three one two three just mark that off a little bit my fold. Okay, here's my news. Um, I saw where are we? 27. I was, I you know, I watched the craft show videos and they finally have some out from 2022 20 And one lady decided to do one and only put junk journals and hardly any of them sold. I think, well, I kind of already know that. So she's going to put them on her online shops. Etsy, whatever she has, I'm not sure, but um, I think you can't command those prices at a craft fair, the prices that they're actually worth. Especially if you're in crowds that don't know about them. And can't appreciate the time it takes to do them. So, she hardly sold any. I felt bad for her, but... Um, they were lovely, and they were all, they were a large range of, um, work, amount of work that it took to do them. So they weren't all, some took minimum work, some took maximum work. should have did that after and then the other um, the other news <laughs> someone else um, oh it's gonna go okay someone else <clears throat> did a bunch of uh, tea favors you know with the honey spoon and the Treat and the tea and the I forget what else was in there but hardly sold any because people kept telling her they don't drink tea 
So I'm going to have to um, make sure I, I'm either going to make some note cards to go with them or I'm going to make sure I include that they hold other things other than tea. And make sure I put that in the display. Okay, now, and the ones I am, I'm probably going to put herbal teas. And like, um, what are you doing in here already? A fly. I'm going to do herbal teas and, oh my god, that has the word dying. Can't keep that. So I'm going to make sure I do herbal teas and, you know, sore throat teas. Things that are appropriate for fall for the ones I'm going to put the actual tea in. And hope, hope, uh, you know, I, we drink tea, we drink coffee more, but we still drink tea. had tea yesterday on the patio, so to speak, because we had some leftover cake. Okay, 33. There you go. About 45 minutes, I guess. It took to make three of those. And there's the start of another one. Okay. Okay, guys. I will. Hopefully get get to the tag series. And have that for next week, but this week was a <laughs> on the fly. But I hope it inspires you to just, you know, this this little book has been out there forever, but take something and put your own spin on it and my particular spin is that I, I don't like ribbon closures so I made my own closure I don't like I don't know when it comes to adding fabric half the time I just I'm never happy with it so there we go, this week's easy summertime little ephemera book holder or book or little mini journal, whatever you want to, wherever you want to take it. So I'll see you next time everyone. Have a great week and um, don't forget, coming up soon is the tag series. Thanks for your time. Bye.